All right, I'm going to show you some tips and tricks on how to make your modular kick stand out a bit more, get different tones, and all sorts of different options that you have, and make it especially hit a lot harder uh, than it probably is. So uh, let's go ahead and get started. Let's do a modular. Now, for the longest time, um, I was just making them a very basic way. So I'm going to go over um, how I was making them. And this is this is generally right for the most part, but I'm going to uh, start adding as we go along. So you're, we're just using a sine wave. And what I like to use is a uh, dad's or envelope, and I'm going to get to that here in just a little bit. Uh, so I'll, that's what I was pretty much just doing, and then uh, using a, a filter as well. So this is pretty much what I was doing. I just put the control voltage into the note, uh, put the envelope into the modulation port of the oscillator, and just taking the out into the filter, the input of the filter, and then using a low pass out on here. And I was uh, just, we could probably do something like down here. Let's just do a quick four on the floor. Oops. Nothing special. First of all, what we need to do is turn it up. Let's go to the back. Turn these up. Okay, now we have more control over the volume. We will use the uh, this master volume to uh, uh, to select the level now. Um, so the first thing we want to do is take the sustain all the way down. But you'll notice that there's nothing really going on. I guess we can add a oscilloscope down here to uh, plug this in. First of all, we want to take the time and to the right zooms in, to the left zooms out. So it's usually better to, with this, with a real short, small decayed sound, we want to bring it all the way out so you can see the whole thing. I'll show you the difference. So here's this. Oh, I guess we need to bring the decay up. So I was back to the decay. That's like a little blip. That's because there's no decay. It's not decay. There's nothing to... The decay is so fast that you're just hearing a little blip. But if we bring it up, it starts turning into something. So watch what happens when I zoom this in. See, it's, you can't really see what's going on. But right here, there we go. So we want to add, this is why I like to add the Dazzer, because it has the release on here. Um... We can just bring the release a little bit up. Starts turning into a little bit more of a kick, but it's still pretty hollow. Uh, I believe that the, the tone's too high. So uh, instead of just going down here and messing with these notes, uh, so if we bring the octave down, it's too low. Uh, so that's why I like to mess with the semis. Uh, there's 12 semis within an octave, so you can just mess with this stuff instead of messing with the notes. Um, we can actually bring this probably down a little bit more. And you can mess with the filter if you want. Turn the res up, stuff like that. Um. For the longest time, I was kind of making them like this, and they sound like garbage. Um, if we do this. But there's a lot better way to, because at the beginning of a kick, there's like a small, there's a transient sound. It's just, it's a lot of noise at the very, the very, very beginning. And it's only for a, a slight second until it starts decaying. That's what a drum is. It, it hits and it makes a transient and it decays into nothing. Um, so watch what happens if we add a decay envelope right here. And then we're going to take this and we're going to bring it into the pitch. So we want to, it won't do anything unless you have the pitch either down or up. So I suggest bringing it all the way up and we're going to create something with this. So uh, we could just listen now. Notice the difference? Hear that knock? starting to sound a lot better you're it's actually standing out it's actually kicking and you can always mess with like the uh the this is the uh decay 
uh, how it, how the frequency rolls off. There's a full, there's just regular, and then there's a kind of ski slope. This is much faster. So we can go ahead and leave this down. Now you can mess with the pitch as well, because if you don't, you, sometimes you don't want it that high. So it's all about uh, kind of how you, uh, what tone you're really looking for. With this, I kind of want it a bit high because I want that knocking sound with it. Um, you could also mess with it with these as well if you want. This is the release. Uh, like a nice small little, uh, little knock on there. We can actually go ahead and put it to some of this, some of this music that I have for it. Let's actually create this, but I'm going to switch this. Now we can hear it with actually some music. Let's, uh, that'll probably be better. Sounds pretty good. I think the tail's a bit too long. Uh, what you can also do is add some saturation to us. Go to the effect, go to the saturator. Uh, take this in, out. Now this probably is going to quiet it a bit, but we can also just correct it with this. So I like to add just a little bit of saturation. <laughs> I think that sounds pretty good. I mean, you can turn it all the way up. Uh, what else can we do here? Um, we can go to our effects rack, and uh, you can add a cabinet simulator. Now, if the dampening's all the way up on it, uh, it's not really going to do anything. I actually have a, uh, a tutorial on specifically the cabinet simulator, exactly what it is and what it does. So instead of going into all these details, I'm just going to mess with it and just show you how it kind of affects the sound. So you can mess around with that. If you don't like that, here's another thing you can do. You can EQ this. Um, take the filter and bring it to low pass and bring it all the way down. Bring the res down on here. But we can turn the gain up on here. It's another thing that you can do to kind of clean up some of the sound. We can go down to here, and then probably turn down the mids and the highs. Get rid of, you know, is it's usually best to get rid of the stuff that you're not using. Just try to filter everything out that you can. Um, you can also add a distortion after this. Um, you can get a pretty weird sound if you use a fold over. Let's see here, it's distortion.
Just some extra little uh, stuff to mess with. Uh, so that's pretty much it right now. Uh, just test it around, you know, see see what sounds good. Mess with the dials and uh, try to match whatever is going on in your song. All right, if you don't like this video, please give it a thumbs down. Peace.